we shall rejoice and be yes. exceedingly glad Hallelujah. in Amen. Let me say that one more time. This Thank is you. a day that the Lord Thank has you, made. Lord. We shall rejoice Thank you, Lord. and be exceedingly glad in it. Amen. Yes. This is the day yes. that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice yes. and be exceedingly glad in it. Amen. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Can you just put your hands together for Jesus this morning? Oh, come on, let's not pity pack. Come on and let's welcome the Holy Spirit into this place. Hallelujah. Just begin to give God the best praise that you got this morning for simply waking you up this morning. Because last night you laid in the very image of death. But God being an awesome God, God being a merciful God, God being a loving God, trust your eyelids on this morning to see another day. That was not promised. Hallelujah. Come on and put your hands together one more time and let's bless the name of Jesus in this place. Before we go further, I just want to congratulate this special couple on this morning. For 52 years of marriage. And that is to Mother Robinette Versi and Pops Versi. Amen. For 52 years of loving marriage. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody shout goals. Goals. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, hallelujah. They don't do that like this in this day and age, amen. But 52 years, that's a long time, hallelujah. That's a blessing. Amen, amen. And all I can say is goals. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on and let's lift our hands all in the building as we invoke the spirit of worship in this place. God, we thank you on this morning. Thank you, God. We just bless you on this morning. We lift you up in this place. Yes, God. Yes, God. We pray, God, that you will now come into this building. Yes. Come into this place and have your way. Yes. God, if there's anything in us yes. that should not be, we pray right now in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. that you remove it right now. We don't want anything to hinder us from worshiping and praising you on this morning. The fact of the matter is, God, we come just to say thank you. Thank you we God. thank you for the lying down of last night. Yeah. We thank you for the early rise of this morning. Thank you, God. Oh, we thank you for the activities yeah. of our limbs. Thank you, God. We thank you for putting us in our right mind. Hallelujah. We thank you for the food that we had to eat. We thank you for the vehicle that we had to drive. Thank we thank God. you for the roof that was put over our head. We thank you for being able Amen. to go to the closet and have clothes to put on. God, we thank you for just another day, God. Thank we God. don't take this for granted. We don't take it lightly, God. But we just come to say thank you right now Amen. for another day to be able to come into your house and Hallelujah. give you worship and give you praise and to give you all of the honor that is due to you because God you are truly worthy yeah, yeah. of all of our praise you're worthy of all of the honor God and for that we simply say thank, thank, you. God. thank you now God as we open up another worship experience in your spirit God we pray right now that everything is always done decent and in order we pray right now in the matchless name of Jesus that you will come into New Jerusalem fivefold ministry and have your way in this place. God, remove anything that's not of you, God. Break down barriers. Break down strongholds. In the name of Jesus, God, I declare and decree blessings in this building. I declare healing in this building in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for our under-shepherd. We thank you for our pastor, God. We pray that you will continue to just continue to lead her and guide her in the way that you will have her to go, God. Continue to heal her body in the mighty name of Jesus, God. Continue to have your way in her life, God, in the name. We thank you now, God, for the leadership, for the pastoralship of our pastor, Pastor Catherine Walker. We declare healing upon her now in the name of Jesus. 
Then, oh God, we pray for the body of this building, God. Everybody is standing in the need of something, God. Yes, God. I don't know what they're standing in the need of, but God, I know that you're a God that sits high and you're a God that still can look, look, look so very down below. And so, God, right now, we lift up every burden to you. We lift up every issue to you, God, knowing that you can do all things but fail. And so, God, right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray your continued spirit to fall fresh yeah, yeah, yeah. in this place this morning. In the name of Jesus, God, have your way in this place. In the name of Jesus. God, not only in this place, but every church that's open in your name. God, have your way in that place now, God. Even for those that are watching us live, God. Have your way in that home. Have your way on that job, God. In the name of Jesus, God. As we begin to continue to give you all of the honor, give you all of the praise, God. Work whatever you need to work in this building. We thank you, God, and we bless you. This is my prayer in the matchless, magical, prolific, powerful name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. The on. only name that man can be saved by in the name yeah, of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, Somebody yeah. shout in the name of in Jesus. Name now, of if Jesus. you believe that God is getting ready to turn some things around, if you believe that God is able to do exceedingly Hallelujah. abundantly, come on and put your hands together and begin to uplift the name of Jesus in this place. Come on and turn your worship up. Come on and turn your praise up. Come on and give him the fruits of your lips because he's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. How many of you are ready to make a deposit into your future this morning? During the praise and during the worship. Whatever you came in here with, you just leave it right on back there at the back door. Amen. Because in this house, there's freedom. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. In this house, there's peace and there's joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you can get whatever you need right in this atmosphere. I dare you to make a deposit into it this morning. Hallelujah. Into being free. Into walking in freedom. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh! 
bless his name. Come on, keep the praise going. Come on, worship him. Yes, God. Woo, if you would lift your hands all over the church if you're able. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you. Glory to God. We're going to show you how to fight your battle today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah, God. Come on. We're going to show you how to fight your battle today. Thank you, God. I want to show you how I fought my battles. Hallelujah. I want to show you how I win. Thank you, God. Thank you. Seem like I should be losing, but how he's taught me how to win. In Jesus' name. And conquer over the enemy and stomp on his head. Yes. Hallelujah. Woo! What he thought he could do, he found out he couldn't do it over here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Woo! Hallelujah. This is how I fight my battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is how I fight my battle with my hands raised. This is how I fight my battle. Thank you. This is how I fight my battle. When things are going wrong, I fight my battle. When things don't seem to be going right, I fight my battle. I learned how to raise my praise. When I was on my deathbed, I learned how to raise my hands. Oh, I learned how to fight a battle a couple years ago, y'all. I learned how to fight. Laying there. Hallelujah. The devil tried to take my life, but he couldn't do it. Because God had more work for me to do.
love him, bless his name. If you love him, bless his name. Woo! Come on for my Jesus. Woo! Come on for my Lord. an offering. Everyone please rise. Everyone please rise. All that's able. You're now in the direction of the ushers. Amen. To all our online viewers, don't forget ways to give. Download the Givelify app. Look for New Jerusalem 5-fold ministries in our lovely pastor's face. Also, download Cash App dollar sign NJ5 Church. God, I want to thank you for the offering that was lifted up. Blessed to give us some 30, some 60, some 100 fold, Father God. Dear Father God, bless the tithers in the mighty way, God. You said you would open up the windows of heaven and power a blessing that we wouldn't have room enough to receive. We claim it right now in your Father, Son, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Good morning, church. Amen. Is that all you got? Amen. Good morning, church. The key word was good. Amen. Good morning. Amen. You're alive. You're awake. You're well. Amen. Amen. You're here in the house of God. Amen. I said good morning, church. Amen. The kids are much louder upstairs. Good morning, church. Let's try that one more time. Good morning. Hallelujah. Amen. You're in the right place at the right time. Hallelujah. 
Amen. Amen. And good morning to you again. Once again, New Jerusalem. Amen. Do we have any first time visitors? Amen. That are joining us today for the very first time. Amen. Here at the City of Peace. First time visitors. Amen. We have one, two. Amen. If you just want to stand and just wave at this time. Amen. We welcome you on today. Amen. Come on, give it up for our visitors. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We welcome you, amen, to your first time here at New Jerusalem Fivefold Ministries, where we are changing hearts and shaping lives. Amen. If you didn't get a welcome card, amen, make sure to see our ushers at this time. Amen. We also have a welcome bag for you if this is your first time. Amen. If you don't have one, just raise your hand. Amen. And the ushers will attend to you. Amen. Amen. Let's make sure we get those handed out to our visitors. Amen. Give it up one more time for our visitors. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Amen. We also have three visitors upstairs. Amen. In our children's church. Amen. So praise God for the children's church this morning. Amen. We thank God on today. Amen. We just have a few brief announcements and then we're going to hear a word. Amen. Are y'all ready? Amen. I need a word. I don't know about y'all. Amen. Amen. And I'm excited. Amen. About this woman of God that's coming to preach the word of God this morning. Amen. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. Amen. Amen. And our announcements are as follows. Amen. The third Sunday in September. Amen. We're having our church birthday. Amen. Or we call it, old school calls it homecoming. Amen. Amen. I'll be preaching the word that Sunday. My title is, There is No Place Like Home. And y'all better get ready. Amen. Amen. God is going to do an awesome thing. Amen. Again, homecoming third Sunday. Amen. In September, which is right up the road. We're asking that everyone where they're changing hearts and shaping lives t-shirt on that Sunday. Amen. We're going to get with the kitchen committee to see what needs to be brought. Amen. And I will announce that the next Sunday. Amen. Also, amen. We are concerned about our neighbors. Amen. In Waverly, Tennessee. Amen. If you have any items that you would like to donate, amen, we're accepting anything, Lysol wipes, Clorox, bleach, Tide, whatever you have, paper towels, toilet paper, water, food, amen. We will be accepting those donations right here at New Jerusalem Fivefold Ministries. Amen. Hallelujah. We have to help one another. We are helpers of one another. Amen. The last announcement that I have for today, I actually have two. Amen. The NJ5 Fall Fest that will be coming October 31st. We'll have church outside, you guys. <laughs> amen. We'll be combining, amen, our adult service along with our children's church, amen, outside on the lawn. We have some fabulous activities planned, amen, and we are in need of some donations. If you have wrapped candy, amen, we ask that you donate. There'll be a bucket out in the welcome area, amen, for individually wrapped candy, not open candy, amen. You can keep that at home. It's COVID-19. <laughs> case of waters, large case of candy bars, and cases of soda, amen. Again, donations will be taken out in the welcome area, amen. And just one last thing, amen, before, amen, we get ready to hear the word of God, amen. We just want to once again extend a hearty welcome and just to let you guys know that the stems will be joining us y'all will see them each and every sunday here at new jerusalem fivefold ministries that's why y'all stand to your feet amen give it up for the stem family hallelujah i'm so excited god is doing a new thing Amen. He's doing a new thing. Let's give it up one more time. I'm excited. I feel like doing a cartwheel. Can I do a cartwheel? No. <laughs> Amen. We thank God. Amen. They came in work. I love to see people that come in. You know, everybody wants you to be a member and do this and do that before you come on, which is fine because members aren't in the Bible. That's actually man-made. But, uh, Anyhow, y'all know how I am about the Bible. Okay, it's man-made. I'm just going to be honest with you. But come in and work for the Lord. I lo love seeing people come right in, work for the Lord. Let's get this done. 
I have friends that go, go here that want to make donations with me over to Waverly, Tennessee. You know, do you have to be a member? Do you have to? No, nope. you come on right in. Make those donations. We got to help each other. Amen. As long as we have Jesus Christ in common, let's go. Amen. Amen. Let's go. Amen. Amen. Excited to have the stems on board. Uh, Sister Veronica Stem, amen. And her husband, amen. Vernon Stem, amen. VJ, Lamar, and little Victor's upstairs, amen. Praising the Lord. <laughs> amen. We're excited, amen. To see where God is going to take, amen, this young family. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And at this time, amen, we're getting ready to hear a word. Amen. 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 Now, she's she always preaches to me. Uh, amen. Every time I hear her voice, man, I'm like her son. I get the Holy Ghost. <laughs> she could just say, praise the Lord. I'm like, oh, Lord. <laughs> But that's just how her spirit is. Amen. Her spirit is contagious. I can remember the first day that I met her. Amen. The first day I met her, she had came to our annual Easter egg hunt. Amen. And she had bought, brought her granddaughter, little Cherie. Amen. She's upstairs this morning in Children's Church. Amen. And my spirit connected with both of them right away. Amen. Because Cherie reminds me of me. Amen. She's outgoing, straight A student, gorgeous. No, I'm playing. <laughs> she is, though. I'm joking. <laughs> She's beautiful inside and out. Amen. And I used to follow my grandmother everywhere. Amen. And my grandmother, I mean, my grandmother was a little, a little crazy, though. Uh, <laughs> but I would still follow my grandmother everywhere and be up under my grandmother at all times. Amen. She had a lot of wisdom. Amen. Amen. What'd you say? <laughs> I want to be like my grandmother. Amen. I want to be in the wild, wild west. She had a shotgun with her at church on Sunday mornings. <laughs> and she didn't take no stuff. Amen. Amen. She didn't take no stuff. And I can see that in uh, Evangelist Johnson. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But anyhow, I met her. And, you know, and I spoke with her and she told me, she was like, well, you know what? I'll be back. And then next thing I know, she had gotten hospitalized. And I didn't know if she remembered me or not, but I was, you know, I was like, I don't know if you remember me, but I'm just going to pray for you. I prayed for you over the phone. Amen. I've prayed for you several times over the phone since then. And God has still kept her going. Amen. She's still here. And this today is not her first time preaching, amen. She had a, a street ministry. She's been preaching, like I said, for years, amen. And like I said, you can catch the Holy Ghost, you know, listen to her voicemail. So we're excited on today, amen. Those of you that came to share with uh, Minister Johnson this morning, I just want you to just stand briefly if you came to share with her, amen. Her children are here, amen. Well, I came to share with you too, <laughs> amen, amen. 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 Thank you, God. Amen. Her wonderful children are here. Grandchildren are here. Amen. And we're excited to hear this word. Amen. Again, this is not her first go round. Amen. I know she's a keep it real preacher too. Amen. She's a shouting preacher. Amen. I want you guys to give your new Jerusalem welcome. Even if you're a guest, I want you to put your hands together at this time and welcome evangelists. Minister Brenda Johnson as she comes. Give it up. Woo! Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord, for letting me be able to walk and stretch. 
right. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Shanda. Oh, but I thank the Lord. I want to first give it unto God, who's ahead of my life. I want to thank the Lord for the pastor of New Jerusalem, Catherine Minor Walker. I want to thank the Lord for the elders, Elder Mary Franklin, Elder Mike Franklin, and Elder Cur David Kirby, and Minister Ruby Morgan. I want to thank the Lord for them. <laughs> Oh, but we got some warriors in the house. Hallelujah. We got some warriors in the house. We got some praise in the house. Hallelujah. Oh, hundred of shot. Oh, I feel my help me. Hallelujah. I feel the Holy Fire. I feel the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Oh, it ain't nobody but my Jesus. Hallelujah. He's working on the inside. Oh, hallelujah. And he's manifesting on the outside. Hallelujah. Oh, but I thank you, Lord. Oh, but I thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to sing this little song that we used to sing in the days. <laughs> oh, holla, 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 holla. Hey, little boy, Shanda. He love a young love shot. If you catch on, catch on. Faith, 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 just a little more faith. Faith, 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 just a little more faith. Well, it don't take a whole lot. Just use what you got. Faith, 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 just a little more faith. Faith to move that mountain. <laughs> Faith to open that door. <laughs> faith, faith, faith. Just a little more faith. Woo, hallelujah. I just want you to know that you gotta have faith. Hallelujah. Oh, Hondo Shata. I want to just say a little word of prayer right, right quick. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, I ask that you move in a mighty way, Lord Jesus. Father God, I ask that you let the angels walk the pew, Lord Jesus. Lord God, everybody that's on the sound of my voice, Lord Jesus. Lord God, I ask that you touch them, Lord Jesus. Lord God, I ask that you feel the faith of even more, Lord Jesus. Lord God, I ask that you let the word of God fall on good ground, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And let them cultivate that word, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, help us to digest that word, Lord, so that we can give the word back out, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, but I thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Lord, we forever give you the glory, Lord Jesus. And Lord, I ask that you look down on the people and waver, Lord Jesus. Lord, God, meet the needs, Lord Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask you, Lord Jesus, that you move for him, Lord Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus, move in a mighty way for him, Lord. Lord, let their faith reach out, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, but I feel Jesus today. I feel Jesus down inside of me. I feel the fire burning inside of me. We're going to go to We're going to go to Matthew's chapter 14. We're going to go to verse 22 to 20 to 33. Praise God. I'm not going to try to read all of it, but I'm going to read some of it. And then we're going to, I'm going to try with the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. To instill some more faith in you. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to go to Matthew 14 and 31 first. It said, and immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, why didst thou doubt me? Oh, hallelujah. It tells me in my Bible that the disciples, there were three disciples. Y'all may have to see. It said that three disciples was in the boat. Jesus told them to get in the boat and, and come where he was, to go around. Because Jesus was in the mountain. He was up there in the mountain. He was up there in there talking to, talking to God. 
Oh, hallelujah. I can understand why the disciples thought he was a spirit. He was illuminated by the Shekinah glory. That's why they thought he was a spirit. Hallelujah. But Jesus told them, when they was all scared, Jesus told them, he said, fear not. But it's I. Be of good cheer. Peter said, Lord, if it's thou, bid me to come. If you notice, he didn't say, Peter, come. He said, come. That means that all, all three of the disciples that was in the boat, they could have got up and they could have walked the water. All they had to do was have faith. But they didn't have no faith. <laughs> Peter had the faith. But God let Peter know, hey, you had just a little bit of faith. But Peter began to look at his circumstances. Peter began to look around him. Peter began to see the water swishing all around his foot. You know, he had like a hurricane, a little storm on the water. The Bible said it was a bolsterous wind. And that bolstered wind means wild wind. It was wild. The water was wild. It means strong and wild. And you know how the hurricane is. It'll take you around. It's like a tornado on water. That's where the wind was. But Peter began to start looking at that. Even though he was, had his eye on Jesus. When Jesus said come, he was coming. He was coming. till that wind got all around him. All around his foot. And then Peter began to sink down in the water. Oh, hallelujah. But my Jesus, my Jesus caught it. My Jesus reached out his hand and he grabbed him. He grabbed him up. And he just wanted to know. Where did your faith, where did, where did you doubt? You was doing it, why did you doubt? It's just like us. We be in on storms, we be going through our spiritual storms. We go through our spiritual storms in the church. We go through our spiritual storms at home with the children. We go through our spiritual storms with the, uh, on the job. <laughs> I'm going to pass myself, but I'm gonna read what it says, it said, but he spec he spec more more. I don't know that word. Vehemently, <laughs> <Bimily. laughs> If I should be, if I should die with thee, I would not deny thee in any wise. Likewise, also. Well, I didn't have that. But anyway, that's a good nugget also. <laughs> that's all right. That's all right, because anything that's in the Word of God is a good nugget to me. Hallelujah. It's good eating to me. But all I know is that Peter, he didn't know. He didn't. He, he, he lost ground. He lost focus. He lost focus for a minute. For a minute, he lost focus. But he knew Jesus wasn't going to let him drown. We talking about the man that made the water. <laughs> we talking about the man that created heaven and earth. But we talking about the man that calmed the sea. Hallelujah. It's just like us. We go through our storm. We go through storms of life. That hard head child don't want to act right. Think they your mama and daddy. <laughs> they trying to tell you what to do. I don't know what you're talking about, but you know, it's, but mama, I do just don't know. I do. It's not about what you know. I know the whole shot. And oh, but on the job, we ain't gonna talk about on the job. Oh, you got two devils going up against one saint. Hallelujah. You know one thing about it, they will team up. It's just little old you, sanctified you. You sitting over there and you doing your work and you praising the Lord. You got caught up. You caught up in your work, you singing to the praise of God, and the devil see you over there. Hmm, look at her. Look, just a look at her over there. She knows she's supposed to be working. And you know you already working. But we talking about, you know, another devil see you. Girl, it don't take all that. She got to sing to. We just need to get the job done. We ain't in here for performance. She's not on, she's not on, uh, uh, what you call it, star search. She's supposed to be working. And don't let them begin to talk about the Lord to somebody. Child, she hemmed me up. She hemmed me up over there. And I know you don't supposed to be preaching Jesus on the job. But she hemmed me up over there. Girl, we ain't going to have all that. Come on, girl. Come on, let's go over there and tell the boss about this hymn. They team up against you on the job, and they go tell the boss about it. 
But you know, how many know that the boss don't like tattletales? When you're sitting there trying to tell on her, you already digging a ditch for your own self. Oh, hallelujah. And you got to realize that Jesus said it. Why they your boss? Jesus said it. He said, I'll make you the head and not the tail. He said, I'll make your enemy be your footstool. I'm going to make you a boss over them. How you like me now? Huh? How you like me now? I'm shot up. Now you need to be quiet now. You see, you done dug a ditch for your own self while you was trying to push me in it. Oh, hallelujah. And we ain't going to talk about when those bills do. We got all kinds of bills flying at us. All kinds of bills. We got cable bills. We got light bills. We got water bills. We got gas bills. And if your kids go to school, they got school bills. Well, they got to pay dues. They got bills where they have to. Oh, they don't just ask for school supplies. They want you to give the teachers some school supplies also. So you got all kinds of bills coming at you, Hundo Robo shot out. And you really don't need it. You'll be like me. When I see the cable people, when I see the cable people in Walmart, they come up to you, would you like to get a, a subscription of, 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 of A on one of these? You know? I told them no. I told them no, I can't afford it. I can't afford it. If my baby don't watch no DVD, if we don't have it, we can't afford it. We're not finna stretch all out like that. Now that's going through a storm when you got all those bills hitting at you, one way or another. Then you got some hungry child in your house that's eat more than eat more than a horse eat and won't get them off the couch. They, oh, hallelujah! I know somebody can relate to me. Don't let it be summertime and school be out. Oh my God, they eat you out of house and home. Hallelujah. You be wanting to know, where did they get that appetite from? When school and they don't eat like that. Oh, but it's getting bad now. I had my son one time when he was in school. He was counting the cereal in the box. <laughs> he said, Mama, it's only 23 cereals in the box. I, <laughs> I looked at him. I said, did you really count that? Did you, did you really count the cereal? He said, Mama, you know, if you don't have no lunch money or don't get free lunch, they give you a, a free meal. They give you choke out, and they don't give you nothing to go on it. They give you peanut butter. I said, well, that peanut butter is better than nothing, son. It's, it's better than nothing. It's better than not eating. We talking about storms. These are storms that we go through. Job storm. Home storm, and I said church storm, and I'm sure right about church storm. Don't get to praising the Lord and somebody's sitting over there and they got a big old corn on their toe and you mess around and step on it, you're going to find how sanctified they is. <laughs> you, you, I don't mean to make you laugh, but I'm just telling you like it is. You're going to find out how sanctified they is. They might all over here and like they in the spirit. Pow, hallelujah. And go on. They might give you that lick up in church and act like they praising God. That's a church storm. Because ain't nothing worse than a, than a saint going against a saint in the house of the Lord. You got an audience, against your brother. You're supposed to come to him. And you ain't got to come to him around everybody. Go to him privately. And get it right with them. Because you can't go to God and ask God for nothing if you ain't going to get it right with your brother or your sister. Hallelujah. I know I got a little off course, but I, I had to say it. I just had to tell it. I had to tell it. Because those are the storms that we go through. And even though you go through the storm, you got to, you got to believe Jesus. You got to believe Jesus. He said, whatever you so desire. When you pray, believe that you receive it and you shall have it. You ain't got the word about, oh, I don't know. I, uh, don't get that doubt because the Bible tells me that it's a sin to doubt. God don't deal with your doubting on him. It's impossible to please God. In order to please him, you got to believe in him. 
You can't ask somebody to do something for you that you don't believe in. You can't ask them because you already don't believe them. Are you going to sit there and say, well, child, I don't know. They, they might. He, he probably will. I don't know because um, I don't know. I just don't know. He might. Those are doubting words. You don't ever doubt God on whatever he said he going to do. You don't never doubt him. Because that's one thing I do know. I know that Jesus... I hear that song said, we'll fix it. I don't care what it is, Jesus will fix it. He will fix it. He'll fix it in your home when your marriage is almost breaking up and you don't know what to do. James sleeping in the other room, you sleeping in this room. That is a storm in your house that needs to be straightened out. Can't nobody change it but Jesus. The Bible said we can't change not one status in our life. Only person can change those status is Jesus. He the only one can change it. He the only one can straighten that child out. Because Jesus knows every hair on our head. He knows us. He knows you. He knows your needs. He knows your want. But just like a baby child, when they want something off that shelf, they want that cookie job there. And they want that cookie. They come to mama, daddy. Mama, can I have a cookie? Can I have a cookie, mama? And you know what? You know the baby can't reach way on top of the refrigerator. Not even if you get a stool, he ain't going to be able to reach it. So you said, wait a minute, baby. Let me get it for you. That's how Jesus do for us. He said, wait a minute, my daughter. I'm going to move for you. I'm going to move for you because you let your faith reach out. I'm going to move for you. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. That car that you see up in the, in the, in the, up at the dealer. You're sitting there thinking, I show sure like the, I need another car. This car, oh, I done changed the oil. Everything just keep. I had another flat tire. My alternator broke down on me. You name it, everything that your car done did. And you're sitting there saying to yourself, I need a new car. But you know, this job don't allow me to get another job. That's, that's what you call your material status. Those are your material status. When you're sitting there thinking about, oh, it don't, it's not going to allow me to get a car. <laughs> it ain't about what your job going to allow you. <laughs> it's about what Jesus is going to bless you with. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's about having that faith. Having that faith in Jesus to know that he would do it. You know, the Bible tells me that you got to know that he is. And that he is a rewarder that diligently seek him. You got to know that you got, hey, you got to have, you got to have some faith in order to get the Holy Ghost. You got to have some faith just for salvation. You're going to stand before the pastor and say, I believe when you know good and well, you don't believe. You done hit that pipe and now you're sitting up there talking about you believe. But let me tell you something. You got to have some kind of faith. Oh, oh, y'all may not like the way I'm talking, but you know, this is how I talk on the street. This is how you, you have to come down to earth. You got to come down to people. You got to talk real life stuff to people. You get up in there and you act like, they think you fall down the spirit. Well, it is you done had too much crack up in there. And you're coming to church. But nevertheless, you did come to get some help, though. You stepped down on faith because you came to get help. I don't care if you're drunk. I don't care if you're alcohol. I don't care if you're a prostitute. I don't care if you're a dope dealer. If you're coming in the house of the Lord, you're coming to get some help. And the word itself going to help you. Hallelujah. The Bible says that how can you preach except for God send you? How can they, how can they uh, have any faith? How can you have faith? Unless the preacher's preaching to you. You can't tell a dope man, oh, no, you ain't coming up in him. And you see this prostitute coming up here with a dress way up him. You just have, you just let her be about her business. Let her be about her business. She come to get help. That alcoholic come to get help. You got to let him come on in and get that help. Don't bother. Because one thing I do know, that the Holy Ghost will clean you up. They clean you up from the inside to the outside. You're coming to get help because you got that faith. Somebody done preached Jesus to you. Somebody done told you that Jesus right there at your door knocking. 
knocking to let me in. All you got to do is just come on and let Jesus do what he going to do. When you come there that first time, look like that word, it'll find you. I'm talking about a person that know. <laughs> that word found me so many times. I was acting like I was a husband, like I was the boss. Boy, but when that word found me, wife be submissive to your husband. Husband do likewise. But when I sat there and tried to act like I was the boss, oh, but that word found me. I couldn't do no more. I said, Lord, help me. Ouch. The more he talked, ouch. Help me, Jesus. So the word itself is good. It's going to build your faith up. Because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It takes faith to move God. You don't have no faith, then don't ask God for nothing. You stay in there, rut you in. Keep on sitting up to say, well, he might. I I, I don't know. You know, I haven't been to church in a while. And I don't know if God's going to move for me or not because I haven't prayed in a while. But I guarantee you, if you start getting on them knees, you can start calling on Jesus. The easy prayer you can do is say, Jesus, Jesus, help me, Jesus. If you feel like your faith ain't where it's supposed to be, you say, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. It may be a little doubt trying to creep in there, but you ask God to help your unbelief and see when he move for you. And when you're going out to, to do God's will, or if you're going out, oh, sister, like if you're going out, oh, I want, I want that car right there. Oh, I, I really want that car. You better make sure you take somebody that got some faith like you got. You take somebody with you that don't have any faith. <laughs> you messed up. You got to take somebody that's got some faith. You ain't got no faith. Then you messed up to take somebody else with you. I'm all off. <laughs> I'm all off. I'm all off. But I'm letting you know. Faith is what moves God. When you want something from the Lord, you got to walk bold in the Holy Ghost. You said, well, I can't tell God that he ain't going to move. Well, my Bible told me that God said, command ye me. He said, command ye me. He said, to, uh, all you got to do is ask. You have not because you ask not. What they say, a closed mouth don't get fed. When you're hungry, you're sitting over there halfway starving, and your neighbor got all that food over there. And you're sitting up there saying, well, I don't, I don't know if I should. I, I'm not going to go over there because they got all those children. And then next thing you know, you get a knock on the door from your neighbor. God done touched that neighbor hard to come bring you something. Say, take that sister something to eat. Take her something to eat. She hungry over there. If you need gas money and you ain't got no money over there and you need to move your car, oh, hallelujah, you got to step out on faith. You got to get out of that boat. You got to start moving. You got to put faith into what you want. Because the Bible tells me that faith without works is dead. Oh, we know, we know, you know what I'm talking about. You got these teenage children. They rather get that unemployment than get a job. <laughs> they rather stay at home and watch days of our life, young and the rest like they're a little woman or something. And they sit up and they say, child, I'm going to get me a job today. Yeah, I'm going to get me, well, I might do it tomorrow. My story on right now. i probably go tomorrow. Oh, I don't know. My mama cooked some chicken and dumplings. I don't know if I'm going anywhere because I know how it's going to be if I go. I'm going to come back and it ain't going to be none. You see what I'm saying? They don't have any faith. You got to put legs on that faith. The Bible said faith without works is dead. If you don't go out that door and get that job, you ain't go look for the job. Go to the place where you know the job is hiring. All you got to do is go to that place. And all you got to do is and say, Lord, I'm here by faith. I need this job. These are not. Nah, I've done it. I said, Lord, these are the hours that I want to work. I remember my ex-husband used to tell me, girl, ain't nobody going to give you no weekend off. Oh, but Jesus will. <laughs> Jesus will.
Jesus will, because this is what I'm going to put down. Because Jesus will. I'm going to tell you what it is. <laughs> if you believe God for the little things, you better show sure not believe him for the big things. You might want a house. <laughs> hey, you got to believe God for what you want. Oh, hallelujah. Don't settle for the less when you can have the best. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But my God said he will supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Oh, but you got to have some faith. You got to step out. You got to step out. Put some legs on that faith. Oh, Lord, I'm going, Lord. I'm going, Lord. I'm going. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. And when you start going, hallelujah, I can see Jesus meeting you right at the door and say, oh, hallelujah, I'm going to bless you today. Oh, hallelujah. But you begin to see they closed up all the doors for the hiring. Oh, I can't get that job now. They done closed the door. Oh, I wanted to work at train, but they done closed the door. If you pay your tithes and offering, if you give to God the way that you should, God tell you, rebuke the devour for your sake. He will open up that door just so you can walk therein. Hallelujah. Because what God got for his people is for his people. Hallelujah. If you're living right, if you're paying your tithes and offering, all you got to do is ask. All you got to do is have some faith in God. Hallelujah. And let God, oh, hallelujah. Let God move for you. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. This ain't even, my message going all the way around, sister. Pastor, my message going all the way around. But I feel the holy high, yeah, yeah. I feel Jesus on the inside of me that says somebody out there need this word of encouragement. Somebody need to know that you is more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. Somebody need to know that Jesus is still in the blessing business. Hallelujah. All you got to do is have faith. He's a half faith of a grain of a mustard seed. Oh, hallelujah. He said, if you believe and doubt not in your heart, those things which you say shall come to pass, and you shall have whatsoever you say. Hallelujah. All you got to do is say, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief, because you know the devil going to try to creep in, but you keep on holding on to Jesus. Hallelujah. You don't worry. I know over shot you don't worry about nobody. You just keep on going. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling you what I experienced. Hallelujah. I've never lived on my own before. I never lived on my own before. But I guarantee you, my rent has been paid. <laughs> My light is being paid. I know both shot time. You got community action now waiting to help you. But you got so much pride in you. Oh, I can't go to hell. Susie might see me over there. They might word, they might see me over here trying to get some help, girl. And um, no, I don't I don't want them to see me doing that. It's like begging. No, it ain't begging. It's what God put that there for, for to help you. You got that much pride. God don't like no proud spirit. You got to humble yourself. You got to seek your help. When God put that help before you, you walk therein. When he opened up the door, you walk therein. Don't let your pride stop you. Pride ain't going to feed you. <laughs> pride ain't going to clothe you. The show ain't, the show ain't going to feed Johnny. And Johnny over there eating like a horse. He eating up everything. You better have some faith in God. Oh, hallelujah. Like my daughter's favorite scripture, have the God kind of faith. My ex-husband always said, what does that mean? Have faith in God. Have that God kind of faith. You don't have it, 
You just got to look. All of us was issued a measure of faith. But you got to ask God, Lord, give me the gift of faith. I want to be able to stay up in my faith and not have that yo-yo faith going up and down, up and down, up and down. One minute you up, the next minute your faith is down and your faith dragging the ground. Oh, hallelujah. You got to have some real kind of faith to move God. Oh, hallelujah. I'm talking about what I know. I'm talking about what I know. When you got sickness in your body, and the, de- and the doctor said, well, you know, I'm only going to give you like, you only got like uh, two months to live. Say so your bill is over $10,000. I think he'll add some more months on it because he want that money. He going to add some more months on it. He want his money. So he going to give you a few more months until you be able to get that $10,000 up. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying. You know I'm telling the truth. Hallelujah. When you're sick in your body and your body is all wrapped up in pain and you don't know what to do, I'm telling you right now to have some faith in God. Hallelujah. Let your faith reach out. Hallelujah. Oh, hundo robo shot. When I came to the church, I was on a cane. I had three back surgery. Hallelujah. Oh, robo shot all over higher. I had two eye surgery. Hallelujah. Oh, I know those both shot shot. Then I turned around and I had a hard set put in my heart. Hallelujah. Then I obeyed God and I fell and I broke my foot. Hallelujah. And before I broke my foot, my son got hit by a car. Hallelujah. But I'm going to tell you right now, my faith did not weary. Hallelujah. I continued to come to church. Hallelujah. Because my health and my strength comes from Jesus. What it was good was gonna do for me to sit at home and move around and cry all day. I know those won't shot out. It wasn't nothing I could do. But I tell you one thing. I let my faith reach out. My faith reach out. I came and I gave every Sunday. And I told God, I'm proving you for my son to come out that coma. And I'm here today to tell you that he came out the coma. He love over shot top. He came out that coma. He looked in my face. Hallelujah. When I had the phone in my hand, his eyes followed my phone. But he came out the coma. God did what I asked. Hallelujah. I don't, I don't lose out with God. I believe that if I keep the faith. I'm 59 years old. I'm trying to get farther than that. Hallelujah. I'm trying to get farther than that. I'm trying to keep on with Jesus. Hallelujah. And I know, you know, God said in his word, man, I was saying, well, you know, baby, I love you. I, baby, I really love you. But I'm here to tell you, can't no man love you like Jesus. Can't no man love you like Jesus. Jesus said, he said, he said, I love you. He said, I'll be with you to the end of time. He'll be with you always. He'll be with your ups. And he'll be with you with your down. He'll be right there. Like the song the scam sing. Even when you don't see him, he's working. Even when you don't feel it, he's working. His spirit is not going to always dwell with you. But he's going to be right there with you. Hallelujah. Through all that you go through. I'm telling you, have faith in God. Have faith in Him. I wasn't here 2,000 years ago to see Jesus lay his life down. I went to that. I went here 2,000 years ago to see Mary give birth to the baby Jesus. To see the Holy Ghost overshadow her. I wasn't here then. I wasn't here to see the lame walk, the blind eyes open. But by faith, I believe. I believe by faith. I believe. Because you got to first believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and Lord. Kings of kings. If you don't believe, then ain't no need you going to him. Oh, you got the atheist. Oh, I don't believe in Jesus. You got the scientific. I'm God. I did this myself. God gave you knowledge. God made man. 
And you know what? He made him out of dust. He didn't even make him out of dirt. He made him out of dust. Dust, something that you blow away. But he stayed in the mirror all day long looking at himself. He got faith to believe he's pretty. But I'm here to tell you, have faith in God. Have the God kind of faith, no matter what situation you're going through. Children want to be hard-headed. Oh, hallelujah. They want to cut up on your job. Man, they really act up on your job. You can, a saint can get another saint hired on a job. And believe it or not, they'll team up together to get rid of you. They'll team up together just to come against you because they know what's on the inside of you. They know that it's Jesus that dwells in that temple. I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes it ain't these men want you because you're pretty. It's that anointing that you have on your life. They want that anointing, the anointing that lies upon your life. He want to put God to shame. But you just keep on striving in Jesus. Man, I, I don't know if I overdid my time. I ain't get to my scriptures or nothing. But it's still all good because it's still, it's still, it's Jesus. It's Jesus. It's Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the afternoon. It's Jesus. Have that faith. The saints should walk by faith. They should live in faith. And they should stand on faith. If you don't know nothing else in this paradigm, you better get under the protection of the Holy Ghost. You better get under Jesus' blood. You better claim your faith. You better step out on faith and let that faith reach out. You don't want to get sick. Don't be sitting there listening to what the doctor. Child, you got, you got counsel. And then next thing you know, you're calling Sister Susie. Girl, <laughs> the doctor said, I got counsel. I don't know what I'm going to do with this counsel. You claimed it. You don't claim it. Send that thing back to the pits of hell. Send it back to the pits of hell in which it came. Satan came up there to distract you. He came to throw you off. But you tell that devil, he's a lie. He's a father of lies. When you get a chance, knock him down. Step on his back. Step on him. Step on him. Walk up and down on him. Yeah. I've been through the storm and I know that some of y'all has been through the storm some of you still going through the storm but you better grab a hold to that faith you better grab a hold to the man called Jesus and hold on to him get covered under his blood that's what Peter did he held on to him he knew Jesus was going to help him he knew Jesus was right there for him and that Jesus was going to pull him up. That's what Jesus do us. When we done got ourselves in a world of a mess. And we down there saying, Jesus, save me. Save me, Jesus. Save me. Because you know you done walked in the wrong thing. And Jesus reached out there. He said, come on. Here, let, let me help you up. Let me help you up. A lot of people think you need to waddle and sing. You ain't got to waddle and sing. Just let Jesus help you on up. He'll help you up. He'll help you up in everything. Everything that you need help in, he got it. He's like Campbell's soup, but he's better. Whatever you need, it, it's in there. He can, he can take care of your needs and some of your wants. I mean, he ain't going to give you a six-pack of beer. I know that much. But he'll give you what your heart desires. What he knows that's right, what's in the will of God. You just got to have faith. And hold on to that faith. I, I done preached all off of my message and everything. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Pastor. It's just a, huh? But the power, you know, but the, the Holy Ghost took control. It's still all about faith. It's still all about faith. The Bible said faith without works is dead. You want a job? Get yourself out there and look for one job. Be feeding. You ain't got no car. You better do like I do. Trust that feet or either that bus. Now they even got it better. You can catch a Lyft or an Uber. 
So you ain't got no excuse for not going. But food your mama cook, it'll still be there. So mama put me a plate up. That's what you do. And get on out there. Get on out there and move. Get on out there and have that faith. When you're sitting back and you don't argue with your wife, y'all just argue. And you don't know what to do. Oh, best is she gonna leave me. I don't know what to do, Jesus. I don't know what to do. You're doing the right thing. You're calling on Jesus. He's a matchmaker. He's a healer. He's a marriage healer. He's a family healer. All you got to do is just have faith. Have faith in God. And believe in Him. And trust in Him. And I'm a, uh, <laughs> I know I don't overdid my time. But I'm going to close it right here. <laughs> And I said, y'all pray my strength in the Lord. Come here, girl. Give it up for evangelist and minister Brenda Johnson. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. She came in her own way. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. She's got a lot of energy. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1 states, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. How is your faith today? Amen. You got to have faith over your circumstance is what she was telling you. You got to have faith over your circumstances. Hallelujah. Amen. And as she said in her closing, amen, you need to be saved on today. If you're not saved, if you don't know Jesus, you need to be saved on today. Amen. The life raft is extended to you on today. Amen. The floating device is extended to you on today. Amen. If you're not saved and want to, amen, come on into the boat. Amen. You may do so at this time. Amen. If you don't know Jesus, you need a church home. Amen. Come on. Amen. To Jesus, Jesus at this Jesus, time. Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. You may Jesus. want to rededicate your life. Come on down the aisle. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Savior, Savior, Savior. He's the Savior, Savior. Savior, oh, Savior, 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 his name is Jesus, 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 he's a healer, 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 come on and get to know this Jesus on healer, today, healer, healer, if you don't know him, I guarantee you Jesus, he'll change your life Jesus, on today. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I love to call his name Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There's still time. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Thank Jesus. You God. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Savior, Savior, Savior. He is the Savior, Savior, Savior. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 
Amen. Again, come on and put your hands together for that wonderful word. Amen. Amen. You got to have faith. Amen. It's your faith that pleases God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. As we get ready to close out, amen. Amen. We're going to ask that uh, Minister Johnson come and give us the closing prayer. Amen. And I just want us to touch and agree, amen. Just real briefly before she comes, amen. There's a hurricane going on right now as we speak, amen. And we just want to just ask God to intervene, amen. Hallelujah. If you just want to lift your hands, amen. And we're going to continue to pray, amen. Just lift your hands. Father God, right now in the mighty name of Jesus, God. God, we know amen that you control the sea you control the atmosphere you control the volcanoes god right now we ask for your divine protection from hurricane ida right now god right now we ask that you protect the people that are around in the name of jesus and as sister veronica said in the word no weapon formed against them shall be able to prosper in the name of jesus we plead the blood of jesus right now over that situation satan you got to get out of there, God. God, we're asking it once again for your divine protection, God, right now in the name of Jesus, God. God, we ask that your will be done, God, in the name of Jesus, God. And God, we thank you, God, for the wonderful testimony that most will have, God. But we ask right now that you touch that particular situation right now, God. God, we ask that you send peace, God. We ask that you send a calm to the storm, God. Right now, in the name of Jesus, God, we pray. Amen. Now we're going to ask Minister Johnson to come and, amen, give us, amen, some closing remarks, amen, and prayer. You can stay right where you are. Amen. Let's bow our hands. Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for allowing us to come out, Lord Jesus, to fellowship, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the word, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for coming in and showing out, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we thank you for your anointing, Lord Jesus. Lord, I thank you for the, the pastor, Lord Jesus, and her being here, Lord Jesus, and the ministers, Lord Jesus, and the elders, Lord. Lord, I thank those, thank you for those that came out today, Lord Jesus. And Lord, I ask that you I ask that you bind the mean man, Lord, that's on the side, Lord. Bind that old wrecking demon out there, Lord Jesus. Lord God, as we go home, Lord Jesus. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you put a shield around us, Lord Jesus. Watch over the children while they go to school, Lord Jesus. Watch over the teachers, Lord Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus. And Father God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We forever give you the glory and the praise, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.